This is Gary Hines of the three-time Grammy Award-winning Sounds of Blackness. Please stand by for Season 8 of Let's Talk to the Lord, Gospel Radio Show, created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. Lord, you are an awesome God. You're the great Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh. My provider. God is. When I think of his goodness and all that he's done for me, I can't help but call him awesome. I can't help but call him About the changes I've been going through I realize how losing you would be the worst thing I could do Cause no one makes me feel this way This calm, this whole, this warm, this safe You humble me in every way With every single word you say You make me wanna sing You make me wanna shout Love is kind For me your love comes right on time I never knew I'd feel this good It's cause you've always understood Even though I went astray You took me back and let me stay By your grace, Lord, I've been changed I wanna thank you for loving me anyway You make me wanna sing You make me wanna shout You make me wanna know What love is all about Grace, blessings, and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ. I am your gospel radio apostle, Apostle John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead apostle and founder of Omega International Prophetic Ministries. 
Thank you for tuning in for Season 8 and the new beginnings of Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, our guest for this episode in Season 8 of Let's Talk to the Lord is gospel recording artist Jamika. Kingdom Jamaica, a Peoria native, is a singer-songwriter who has been singing and performing since the age of eight. Jamaica considers herself to be inspirational gospel, which she defines as melodic sounds meant to uplift, encourage, and minister to the hearts of people. Kingdom, her songs are birthed out of her personal experiences and relationship with God. Jamaica, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Thank you so very much for the opportunity. I'm looking forward to discussing and just hanging out with you today. Amen. And Jamaica, before we begin our discussion, please share with the kingdom a little more about you. Who is Jamaica? Um, in short, I'm a fur mommy, a daughter, sister, friend, worshiper, singer, songwriter. Um, I'm a preacher's kid, so you know, that comes with its own plethora of uh, things as well. But ultimately, I am a child of the Most High King. Amen. And Sister Jamaica, please share your testimony of repentance and your journey with relationship with our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I am a preacher's kid, so I grew up in the church. Um, my dad became a pastor around the age when I was about five, five or six. So I've always been uh, in the church, um, even active in the church. I knew from a young age that I liked to sing, so I would always get opportunities to sing at church um, when I was younger. And then from there, moved from not just singing little solos here and there, but finally being able to be a part of the choir and then moving from being a part of the choir to actually um, helping with directing the choir to um, then moving to praise and worship and then even to leading praise and worship. So I've always been active in the church. I've always been serving in the church. Um, But I think it wasn't really until probably my early 20s, uh, mid-20s, where I actually took the time out and really formed a relationship with Christ on my own, not just going off of what I was taught or what I was, you know, told, but actually taking the time out to start studying and showing my own self-approved and learning more about him and his character and then trying to apply that to my life, Um, different circumstances, just making, you know, mistakes when you're growing up and learning um, really got me to a space where, okay, God's got my attention. It's time for me to know him for myself and not walk in this walk, you know, through the eyes of, or through the shoes of my parents or by the shoes of my parents or um, my family members, but actually knowing him for myself. So um, my relationship journey since then, when I made the decision of really trying to get to know God and um, know, know him for myself, it was just a matter of, one, walking through the consequences of many poor decisions that I made leading up to that time, and then and then seeing or acknowledging that a lot of those circumstances were self-inflicted and not allowing that to negatively affect this newfound relationship that I was trying to form with Christ. Yeah. Um, and then from there, just growing in that and then just learning how to trust him. And that in and of itself... <laughs> is a journey. Uh, It still is a journey. I will say it's a lot easier now than it was then, um, but life will still take you through things, and sometimes it's easy to, to, um, you know, fall back into old habits. So you have to be mindful of that thing. So that's most definitely how my relationship with Christ um, has gone and and is currently growing. Amen, amen, and amen to everything you just said again. Amen. (laughs) And what is your status now in the body of Christ and in the kingdom of God? I am a firm believer, and I know him for myself. I know who he is. I've tried him, and I know him. And so my, my, my current status in Christ is just, I'm his, and I'm not going anywhere, and I'm just going to do whatever he wants me to do. He leaves me, I follow. Amen. Sister Jamaica, please, 
introduce our topic, begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. All right. Um, well, I chose to talk about worship while waiting, um, and I chose this topic because as a worshiper, it's been one of the biggest lessons I have to, I've had to learn, and I'm, and I'm still trying to you know, grow, continue to grow into this day. Um, and if we're completely honest with ourselves, we're always waiting for something. Um, whether it's a prophecy to be fulfilled or um, a specific prayer request um, of the Father, whether it's healing, deliverance, assistance, and life decisions, so on and so forth, or just waiting for God to move in a specific situation in your life. Um, And so when I think about it, I'm learning that waiting is cyclical in nature. So in order to really worship while waiting, it was imperative that I create a lifestyle of worship yeah. um, because the lifestyle of worship actually will position myself, it positions us to worship while waiting. Or in other yeah. words, we waiting, we're waiting with hope. Um, and, um, yeah, worship, uh, worship while waiting, is forced, it really forces us to trust God's character. It forces us to trust his promises. And it forces us to um, be content with and trust his timing. Um, and that, I think, for me, out of, the, out of those three, that's probably the hardest <laughs> or has been the hardest is just kind of waiting on his timing and being maintaining the right attitude during that time. Um, so, um, it, you know, I, it, just saying that, some might be thinking, like, yeah, that sounds good, but it is, it's easier said than done, which is that's just real. It's true. A lot of times it is easier said than done when trying to focus um, on God's character, his promises, and, and his timing. Because um, when life is lifing, man, listen, the enemy is ready to pounce, and things start to enter our minds like fear and doubt, anxiety. Depression, yeah. bitterness, frustration, anger, I can keep going. The list can go on and on and on and on. And if we're not careful, um, those things can replace the faith that we're to be holding in our hearts. And um, it's in these moments that it's even more imperative that we be intentional in our worship. And just to clarify, worship is not just this momentarily, oh, I'm going to go to church and sing. Worship is, um, is the daily lifestyle thought yeah. process um, that we have to um, take on. It requires the killing, of our, the killing of our own feelings and our emotions while trying to navigate life's experiences. And in order, it, 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 this, it is an effort, it's like a continual and consistent practice that we have to do. It's not daily, sometimes momentarily, sometimes second by second, minute by minute. Um, it's, it's a constant redirection of our mindset. And so um, in order to even remain in a mindset of worship, it requires discipline. And... I don't know about you, but this, trying to become disciplined in something has never been an easy road. Um, but it's always been worthwhile. It's always been um, a good road to, to, to walk in. So, where, um, if, so when it comes to a discipline of worship, it's that moment where we're meditating on God's word and walking out our faith um, with an awareness of his presence. So... For me, because um, like I said, this has still kind of been a journey um, in and of itself, still is, it's still something that I'm trying. I've gotten the, the, the consistent part down, um, but the continual, I'm still trying to, to get to a, a higher level in that because sometimes um, my first response isn't always, God, I worship you. God, you're great. God, you, I know you're going to take care of this. Sometimes... Um, my first response can still be panic. And I will say that redirecting is a lot easier than it, than it used to be. But 
I would love to get to a space where that's not even my first response. My first response will always be, God, you've got this. My, my first, in every situation that happens to rear its head in my life's journey. Um, and so a couple of practical ways that um, I try to worship intentionally, intentionally even, you know, even while waiting and just in my lifestyle of worship is staying in God's word. That's like number one. Um, as I mentioned earlier, a lifestyle of worship involves meditating on God's word. And you can't do that without taking time out to read it. And um, I found in my waiting journey that this time in the word it often falls outside of my regular uh, time with God because when those crazy thoughts try to invade my mind, I'm forced to find scriptures specific to my situation and begin to meditate on those things. Like if I'm battling, um, if I'm battling the spirit of loneliness, I may need to meditate on Psalms 23 and 4. Even, even though I walk through the, valley, the darkest valley, of death, I'll fear no evil, you, you, for you are with me. You're riding your staff, they comfort me, so on and so forth. Um, if I'm battling the spirit of fear, then I, I may have to turn and meditate on 1 Timothy 1 and 7, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And you just kind of have to keep repeating those things in your, in your, in your mind to, to keep yourself focused um, and, and pressing towards that mark um, and so on and so forth. So um, another way, practical way that I've learned uh, or that I kind of practice when trying to live a lifestyle of worship is, um, well, with me being an artist, singer, worship leader, um, et cetera, um, music plays a big part in my intentional worship. Um, I have learned that when I push past how I feel and start singing songs of praise and thanksgiving, I can't help but sing myself glad. If I'm in a space where I just can't sing the songs myself in that moment, then I'll go and find a gospel playlist. Um, or I am really big on finding, like, those um, prayers and scripture readings on YouTube that have, like, the soft music playing in the background or the, the wave sounds, like that kind of stuff has also been beneficial in helping me to redirect and to make sure or to intentionally try to live um, a lifestyle of worship. Um, but all in all, um, each Christian, each person, um, each, your relationship with Christ is going to look different than mine. So it's important that you just find what works for you. Um, the only thing I, I just encourage you to do is just be intentional about it. Practice it daily. Um, so uh, that's really all I had. I'm hoping that um, this blessed you. I'm hoping that this encouraged you. But I just want to say thank you for having me, and I pray that even in this time, uh, this short time, you were blessed. So back to you, Dr. Ross. Hey, man. Kingdom, our topic of discussion for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is worshiping and waiting. Kingdom, worship is respectful, devotion, loving, honoring, and obeying Him who deserves our highest regard. Worshiping God means acknowledging and celebrating His power and perfection in gratitude. Worship includes understanding and having a awe of God's holiness. We remember and know how great He is and behave reverently in His presence. When we worship, it's the acknowledgement of God and all His power and glory in everything we do. The highest form of praise and worship is obedience and obedience to his word, not just in the shout and the dance alone. To do this, we must have maturity and know God and who God is. Kingdom, we cannot understand this if we are ignorant or unlearned in our studies. And to have true, real 
relationship is with God through Christ Jesus. Kingdom, the inner essence of worship is the response from the heart and the knowledge of our mind. It's when our mind is rightly understanding God and our heart is rightly valuing God. So we worship God in spirit and in truth. Kingdom, the dictionary defines waiting as the action of studying where one is or delaying action until a particular time or until something else happens. Now, understand the word wait is from the ancient Anglo-Saxon tribes of Britain. The name was given to a person who was a watchman. Now, understand waiting is a prevalent theme in the Bible. In God's word, people were waiting on God, waiting for God to avenge, or waiting on God to bring salvation, waiting for an answer, or waiting for direction and instructions, Mm -hmm. waiting for a word from the Lord, or waiting on a particular miracle or healing for forgiveness, for redemption. What stirs my soul, Jamaica, is why when it seems logical, to why God requires sometimes that we wait, why it is that worshiping God as we wait seems so hard to do Mm, from our spirit, man. But what God is wanting from us is to stay in place in expectations. But our flesh and the unknowing uncertainties of the outcome can seem to make this so very difficult to do. Especially when our flesh feels nervous and we want God to move in a certain way and right away, especially in times of emergency, we get anxious Mm -hmm. and we feel we need an answer immediately. We know the kind of answer we want, but God desires us to remain postured in faith, in readiness and expectation, to look forward expectantly, to be ready and available with our ears inclined for instruction. Kingdom waiting yeah. is not intended from God to make us feel neglected or unrealized, yeah. but God wants yeah. us to wait with a state or attitude of watchfulness and expectancy yeah. anchored in him and to attend as a servant as he supplies our wants and our needs. Kingdom yeah. having to wait causes us to learn to trust God and God's timing. I have had to walk this out many, many times, Kingdom, since my rebirth. I would love to report that it gets easier, but depending on the issue, it doesn't. Yet, I understand that we cannot call our shots, and we do not possess God's wisdom. Sister Jamaica, please give the final words on our topic of discussion, worship and waiting. Man, that was good. I just want to reiterate that um, in times of waiting, take time to meditate on who God is, what he has done, and what he's promised to do. And when the waiting is over, don't hesitate to give thanks to the one who made provision, which is our Lord and Savior. Be blessed, y'all. Amen. Jamaica, please introduce yourself to the kingdom. All right. Well, hey, everybody. This is Jamaica. Uh, You can find me on Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, um, under at Just Jamaica. That's J-U-S-T-J-A-M-I-K-A. For booking, please reach out to Millennium Sound Records at 217 330 Seven five four nine. But feel free to reach out to me and inbox me. Um, I would love to pray with you. I would love to just hear from you. Um, again, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, under Just Jamaica. And please tell us about the music being featured during this podcast. We just heard Grateful, and we're getting ready to hear Get Out of My Way. Awesome. 
Yeah, so grateful was birthed actually from one of my many moments um, in waiting. Um, it was a moment where it was imperative that I meditate on the goodness of God and the things that he's already done for me instead of focusing on the situation at that time around me um, and then allowing that situation to distract me from um, where I should be going in my relationship with Christ. Get out of my way. That is my anthem for this seat, this new season that I'm walking in. Um, 2 Corinthians 10.5, I'm casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So yes. no more giving into negative thoughts and behaviors, allowing naysayers and haters to distract me from the plan that God has for me. So I hope it becomes an anthem for you as much as it has become an anthem for myself. How may the kingdom purchase your music and support your ministry? Well, music can be accessed digitally on all media platforms, whether it's Deezer, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, um, CD Baby, etc. cetera. Um, for my old school saints or those who just like collecting physical CDs, um, they are avail- physical CDs are available as well. Um, just inbox me or reach out to the label. Um, I also have a Get Out of My Way t-shirt for those who love incorporating God's message in your wardrobe. So, again, just inbox me or reach out to the label at 217-330-7549. And Kingdom, the music of Jamaica is in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International. Kingdom, Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on Apple Podcasts iHeartRadio, including the iHeartRadio app on your Roku. Spotify, Alexa, and YouTube. You may download episodes from www.speaker.com. Please don't forget the apostrophe in Let's. We are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time from KingdomInfluencersBroadcast.com and at 11 a.m. every Saturday morning from SensationalSoundsRadio.net. Stream us 24-7 from the weekend channel TV. Please write to us at Let's Talk to the Lord at Yahoo.com. Please follow us on X.com at Ross Apostle. Please visit our website, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. International. Please download our app on your Play Store for your cell phones found under Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. Kingdom, you may now ask Alexa to play Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International, and Alexa will play Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio International is your 24-hour station for 24 hours a day. Talk news, gospel news, radios, and interviews. On Amazon, order our book, Spiritual Guidance Through Alzheimer's Disease, with author Kimberly V. Porter. All of my music are available on Amazon and all digital stores and outlets. Lord, Give Me Another Chance, featuring Sean E. Scales and Tamara Lloyd, is found under Apostle John E. Ross. And Remember Now Thy Creator, my first EP, is available under Minister John E. Ross, featuring King David the Vessel, a new duo, and doctrine. You may now listen to the radio station on your Roku. Just go to your MyTuner application on your Roku, then search us by Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Station. So, Kingdom, until next time, may the Lord richly bless you and keep you living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven. And Yeshua, Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. There's truth in saying I'm my own worst critic My mind's a pedestal I 
can't seem to find the key This sinking thinking Really has a hold of me No matter what I try Nothing that seems to fit If I speak this message Is there something they will get Maybe I should step aside And just let the feeling go Yeah, I think I better let it go Compliments, God's word becomes a scapegoat to crush shame and neglect. They say I'm not enough, but God says that I am loved. So I take my strength back and stay fixed on things above. 